All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is um, how to complete this page for your indirect measurement experience. Now, um, <clears throat> this page is, assumes that you would be measuring the steeple on top of the school. And I'm sure a few of, will, a few of you will do that. And that's great. I totally, I'm thrilled that you can do that. And I, I'm I fully encouraged. And that some of you really can't. And I understand that too. And as much as, much as you know, I'd love to punish you for it, it's not your fault. So you're gonna do, you're gonna have to make your own page similar to this for your unique situation, okay? For now, I'm just gonna talk about how you do it if you were doing the steeple on top of Blair. And if you're not, like I said, I understand, it's okay. I'm not taking off points for that, honestly. Um, but you, you'll have to make up something like this for your unique situation, okay? And it doesn't have to be fancy. Um, this one is really well suited to Blair. You'll have to, you know, create similar kind of thing. It can be very simple for your situation. Okay, now let's take a look at this. What I've got here is a, a uh, you know, kind of like an aerial view, a top view of, of Blair. This is actually Blair right here. Okay, uh, over here is the auditorium. We've seen this before, I think, but um, regardless, I'll, I'll point out a couple things here. This is the spot um, where the steeple sits over top of this spot, supposedly. I don't know if it's right. It doesn't really matter. For purposes of this illustration, we're going to pretend that the steeple sits right over top of that spot. And somewhere out here, when we look carefully at the building and stuff like that, where you end up measuring from is about even with this feature of the building, okay? This is the main office. This is the hallway here with the TV studios and the tech ed, one tech ed room. Over here, this is the library on this side, the, the media center. And so the, where the building goes like this, it's right about uh, even with that. And it's probably about uh, this far out, right about here is the place that you're, you're um, that you would be measuring from and that I did when I did my measurement and videotaped it and everything I was about right there and what I want to see then is a line showing me your line of sight to the steeple right like that and then probably and what I want you to figure out is kind of a scale here doesn't have to be perfect but in general it, it, with a with the view towards the scale of this overall drawing, right? Um, you know, this is probably say a couple hundred feet here, out to here, probably 250 feet. I actually never measured it, but I'm just that's just a guess. And then something like this, you'd have these two spots like that as the two places where you you measure from. Like in my case, I measured from one spot. And I kept in, stayed in line with the steeple and backed up to a second spot. Now, hopefully, you'll use a ruler to do this, but I'm just, I'm just giving you an idea. Okay? And so these two spots right here, make it really obvious where they are, are the two places I measured from. Right? So now, as I, as I scroll down the page, what the, um, come on now. Maybe I can do it here. Let's try this. How do I make it? God, that's amazing. I'm looking at the front view, right? This is, as I moved down that page, the, the, the top view was up here. Okay, we just saw that. 
and then in line with those two spots, those two points, we would project down here to two, two locations on the ground. So this is like a front view of the measurement process, right? Here's ground level right here, okay? And then the building is something like this. Now, here's a tricky part. If you make your building all the way up to here, that's gonna be a whacked out scale, okay? When you look, going back to the top of the page, that distance was some 200 feet, right? It was about that much. Up here, going from here out to here, right? Somewhere about like that. So that is way taller than the building. The building is more like, say, this tall right here. And so I'll make a little thingy here for the steeple, a little thingy there, all right, that's a top there, plus, plus a thing like that, right, that's the front of the building, and so on. Maybe that's a good scale, but you should scale your drawing so that um, it, it's accurate or accurate enough. Don't make your building ridiculously tall if it's not really that tall in relation to the whole uh, scale of the image, right, of the whole uh, document, okay? And then I would sit here like this and say, okay, from here, I did measurements from there to the bottom and to the top, you know, like that. Maybe I'll change a color and do also measurements from the bottom. I could do straight lines, couldn't I? And to the top and so on like that, right? I want it, so the idea of this is to illustrate um, how you did your setup and your measurements, right? Where were you in relation to the thing you measured? So if the thing you measured was, you know, somebody's house, the, steep, uh, the, the chimney on the top of some neighbor's house, do something that looks a little bit like a house with a chimney on top. As you can see, it can be a very simple drawing. And then show what it would look like from the top in relation to where you came, you know, where you were, positioned in relation looking down from the top and then show what it looks like in a front view like that right okay and then on also on this page then would be a place to do your your um, your calculations okay so very important right up here h equals that's going to get a number put in there so it tell me how tall the thing is. Whatever the thing you did is, show it there, okay? And then you can show your calculation. Because your, your, um, <clears throat> your illustrations here are only going to come out somewhere right about this far. So you've got all this space right here to do mathematical calculations, right? And you should be able to show me, you know, the values you, you measured, enter them into some formula, and work it down step by step so I can see at the bottom where it says H equals something. And then that H gets put into this space right here. Okay? So, like I said, if you're doing the steeple, great. Use this paper or this document. If you're not doing the steeple, make something similar to it. Doesn't have to be perfect. This can be, this can be very simple, just a couple rectangles or whatever to show, say, it's, the, it's a house or whatever. Right, and then a, a thing here, oh, I went over this way to, to a measure, right? Maybe from two different points, however you did it. And in this, in this lower section will be a front view with a, a reasonably scaled, a front view of the, of the uh, structure or whatever you're measuring, right? And then angles going down, and they, you know, they should be reasonably close to the actual angles you, you got when you did your measurement, right? When I went out and did my measurement, you remember those, those angles aren't real steep. I mean, I was pretty far away, so the angles uh, were, were not that tall, right? They weren't like a 45 degree angle. We know it's not gonna be a 45 degree angle, right? You're gonna be measuring from a, fl a place farther away than the thing is tall. So, so these angles that you show on that front view will never be uh, higher than 45 degrees. They'll always be less than 45 degrees. Okay, so that's, that's the um, assignment, and um, I, I will assign that to you um, sometime in the near future.